How fast can I speedrun every practice map in Clash of Clans? Let's find out. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judon Sloth. A number of months ago now, I completed every practice map, but we followed the sometimes questionable strategies within the tutorial. We did all of these in under one hour, so I'm hopeful with the speedrun. Let's throw up a timer and let's get going. Giant Smash it is first, and it wants to take me through the tutorial. Let's exit that. A couple of valuable seconds wasted, but it did remind us of where it advises the attack to begin. Now, I do need to be careful that I'm not rushing too much with this. In that other video, we tested out the theory of whether you could fail a practice map, and you indeed can. So I need to make sure that I'm not going too quick for my own good. As soon as that mortar goes down, we will get all of the goblins in. Come on, down it goes. All of the goblins, get yourself into the base. Let's take this down. Whilst I could have saved onto the odd goblin to send in at the end, since they attacked the resource buildings first, I figured the best call was to just send them all in. Mm, I guess we could have been a little bit more fortunate on the split. Some of the giants at the top ended up doing nothing towards the end of the attack, but at least the first map is done. Ah, return home. I nearly clicked play again. Okay, next map, Balloon Parade. Oh my goodness, it wants us to do the tutorial again. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's spam a lot of balloons in towards the air defense, coupled to that arch tower. There is a red air bomb down here, isn't there? And then the rest of that arch tower. Why don't we leave one balloon, just in case we don't quite get a good split towards the end of the attack here. Come on, balloons, get that air defense. They just about got it. Oh, this cannon at the bottom. I think a lot of the balloons will start to move to that cannon. Maybe not. Let's actually bring a balloon up top here. I think that's going to give us the best opportunity of cleaning up. And do you know what? We did get an okay split there in terms of the balloons moving in different directions. We were off to a good start and an entire minute ahead of when I did the tutorials themselves, but you will see it was going to get hard. Ah, I've done it again. I keep wanting to click the play again button. I'm not sure what it is. Meat Shield Town Hall 6. Oh, this tutorial. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's bring up giants here. Look at these. Let's spread some giants so that we can get some wizards to clean up. More giants. Let's get a heal spell in to protect them. And we do need the wall breakers to get through that mortifier. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. They just got through. Wow, I thought I thought they were going to go down. Okay, let's save onto the wizards a touch just until we see where the giants are going. Let's use the next heal spell. Nothing in the corners of the base, so we're good there. I'd say we were doing pretty good, but if you want to wish me good luck, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We only have a small percentage of our viewers actually subscribed. Beautiful. Let's go. Oh, I remember this one. It wants us to get the sweeper, but do you know what? If we're taking that down, why don't we start with the dragons first and try and push in towards that side of the base and then we can concentrate on the sweeper. So one, two, three. We need to get that air defense. Another one needed. Dragons look like they're good on the left side. So let's use the light. Oh, that was perfect. As the Tesla popped, we used the lightning spell. That could not have been any better timing, but the dragon... Oh, it's going to miss it. Are you kidding me? Go to the air defense. Dragon, peel off to that air defense. Get that air defense down. Oh my word. We are so lucky. That dragon has the tiniest bit of health. And if that air defense did survive, this would have been a whole different story. Now, we have missed a gold storage at the top where I decided to send in the king. I'm going to spend a couple of valuable seconds to get up and take that down, but I guess that's how it goes sometimes. This was only going to become a bigger problem as I progressed down through the maps, but at this stage, we were already three minutes ahead of when I followed the tutorials. One barbarian king to the left-hand side. It always makes me laugh when it has one barbarian king, but let's actually begin there. Take down that king, and can we just spread the hog riders around the base? actually. Let's just spread them everywhere. Uh, heal spell, heal, heal. Where do we use this wizard? There's one wizard I have left over. I wanted to spam the wizards in and try and take down the barbarian king on defense as we did. You know what? The wizards taking that clan castle is going to be helpful because hopefully the hog riders, after they take the town hall down, they should split in different directions. There we go. Okay, so we didn't get many to the bottom. 
Let's get the wizard there. And that has worked brilliantly with the hog riders just going everywhere. Exactly what we need for a fast time. Wow, it is funny to compare to the tutorial because that was way faster. Wait, isn't this the same map I just did? It is. Can we just deploy the balloons behind the sweeper just like we did with the hog riders? Rage, rage, rage. Get those minions in. Quickly try and clean up. Um, you know what? I think we should maybe send my barbarian king in. Let's use the ability. Come on, balloons. Let's get those air defense down. They did. Rage spell. Ah! My goodness, I'm not sure what to expect here. That archer tower picking off those two balloons that I accidentally had left over, but it kind of worked out okay. Maybe we could have got a better split with the balloons at the end, but due to having 25 minions, we've been able to clean up pretty good. And that reminds me, this is the map where the tutorial gets you to spam them all into the wizard tower. <laughs> Oh my goodness, those questionable strategies. Heavy hitters it is, Town Hall 8, and oh my, I'm following the tutorial. Why does it bring up that screen? Are you kidding me? I guess last time we didn't exit out of the tutorial, we just did it. But I remember it gets you to have a strong, heavy push in towards the center. So let's do that. Archers for the Builder Huts at the back. Okay, what kind of a split do we get here? We can use some wizards for the Archer Tower and Bomb Tower on the outside. We need some more in the center, I think. That's the main thing is we, we've got a lot on the outside, but we don't really have many in the center. We've got that one Pekka. Kind of need these wizards to split as they did. That was perfect, but which pack do we heal? Let's see which one starts taking damage. This one. Oh, the, oh my... Oh my word! We just got that wizard tower and mortar. I think that's worked pretty good. The wizards are the damage dealers. They are the ones we needed to protect and get into the base. Maybe again, I could have saved one of them for the outside of the base, but it's... I don't know. It's sometimes tough when you're trying to deploy from all of the different angles but make sure we actually get the three stars. How many have we done already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another Town Hall 8 map though, you definitely get more practice levels for the lower Town Hall levels. And this is the one where the balloons come out of the clan castle. I did have a watch of my previous video so that I was a little bit better prepared for this. And let's get the wizards in with the poison so we can take those down straight away. Ah, by spreading the Valkyries, we've actually split the balloons, which is less than ideal. Trying to wait on this heal spell if I can. And okay, what do we do with these remaining troops? I've got four Valkyries. Let's push one to that side. Try and get a couple of Valkyries flushing through the left. Use wizards to clean up. And hmm, let's use the hog rider for that mortar. Wizard, wizard. Let's just use the Valks on the outside. Archer can help over there. You're always trying to attack from different angles if you can in order to flush through the base as fast as possible whenever you're trying to take down the base quickly, but you obviously run into the risk of not having a strong enough push in the middle. See the Valkyries starting to go down a little bit, but that one Hog Rider, which they give you to lure the Clan Castle troops initially, what a beast! The Golem has tanked for it. Bravo, Hog Rider. MVP of this attack. Eight maps out of the 19 down, and I think we are well ahead of that previous video. I'd have to go and directly compare, but here we go. Town Hall 9. Okay, so it wants us to take down the Archer Queen. That's not a bad shout for a Lalo. And from watching that other practice maps video back, one thing I recognized was for the Lalo attacks, particularly, I think it was Town Hall 11, not Town Hall 9, but there was one Lalo attack where we had a ridiculous amount of troops left over. And I think it's because Lalo is a tough attack, so it wants to give you more than enough. Let's, hmm, where do we use the baby dragon? One there. Come on, power those balloons up to that archer tower. You know what? I think we could have probably done that one faster had we have been a little bit more surgical with the deployment, but still a lot faster than the tutorial. Some of them, they get you to queen walk for days. I remember we've got those maps coming up pretty soon, I think. Beautiful job. And here we go, the queen walk. So this one got us to queen walk right into the center, didn't it? So why don't we go with that and basically just push the queen into the middle. Now, the main thing about this base is the four air defense. 
We can't send the baby dragons in too quickly, otherwise they'll just get taken down. And weirdly enough, on the tutorial, it gets you to queen walk most of the base and just push the baby dragons in, but I don't think that's the fastest. Let's just see what happens here. I decided to jump the queen to one air defense, break the king to another, and push a good group of baby dragons with the heal spell to the final one. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that one. Angry babies. You've got me happy. The Witch Slap. This is probably the easiest Town Hall 9 attack. And when I watched the video back last night, it appeared, it was part of the time lapse this map, but it appeared like we walked the Queen down the entire side and then sent the Witches in. But I'm not sure we need to do that. The Witches are powerful. So why don't we walk the Queen at the same time so we're not duplicating things? As soon as this wizard tower goes down, I think that is then enough funneling for us to push the witches through. Does she go around towards the archer tower? She doesn't. Okay, so we need to make sure we take that down. King's trying to batter through the wall. So let's just use the earthquake. Let's save onto this wizard, actually. I'm not sure we need it right now. You never know when something like that can be costly. Okay, so we have a couple of witches to the outside. That's not the end of the world, although one of them is just targeted by the archer tower and will go down. That is not an ideal scenario. Poison, rage, hurry it up, hurry it up. Get that archer queen. We've got a Tesla here that we need down. Witches go to the... Oh, no, the wizard got taken out. We need that Tesla down. Come on, witches. Yes. Beautiful. That's the only building the queen couldn't reach. Let's use the ability. I don't think we need to save that ability at the moment. That worked perfectly. Yes. Oh, that was brilliant. I'm so happy that that worked out because you never know. Some of the practice maps, a bit like the goblin maps, can be a little bit trolly. Another queen walk. Clash of Clans love teaching the queen walk and the queen charge strategies within the practice maps. And I agree. We should be teaching the things that are a little bit more technical. This is the map where we nearly failed in the previous video by trying to swag the heal spells. We're definitely not doing that in this scenario, but I wonder if we can... Can we maybe send the miners from a different location? Normally we send them down here. What if we send them from the opposite side and just let the queen take that? King, wizards, let's actually just send the miners in. Let's go. The king can use the ability in order to create that funnel if we need to. Let's get a wizard over there. You got four heals. We need them for the splash, but... There's quite a lot of damage here initially. Oh, there's a giant bomb. Let's go. Let's get that first heal in. King ability goes off. Oh, that's not ideal. The miners are stuck on the outside already. Come on, go back inside. I think most of them did, right? King is down. We've got the barbarians from the king on the outside of the base. That is the only thing right now trying to keep the miners on the inside. Did we lose a lot of miners by the inferno tower? Maybe we did. We've got the queen ability, but the miners, they're going down fast. Do we use the queen ability? We need the queen to get through towards that wizard tower on the back end. Oh my goodness, don't tell me we're going to fail. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Come on, take down the defenses. What are you doing? The expo is going to get us. Yes, the miners went to the expo and not the wizard tower. Oh my goodness. Our saviors, miner mania. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Two Town Hall 10 maps, and they are both using the Archer Queen to walk or charge the base. So this one, we get the Wizard Tower with the Queen. We normally push into the top for the Wizard Towers and multi. Is there anywhere else? I mean, there's three splash defenses up top. Surely that's the best place to come in with the troops. Why don't we try and create a bit of a funnel at the side here? I was starting to find it a lot more difficult to deviate from the recommended strategy with the maps getting stronger. This was going to get worse. I guess it worked out okay in the end, apart from an army cam. It's the odd building on the outside that is slowing us down for a lot of these maps. Lava and more loons. This is the one I was talking about where you have an abundance of lava loon troops. It is comical how many you have left over in this attack. And I think we can start pretty early. I don't want to go too soon. I want to make sure that Queen is going to lock onto the heroes. Come on, Queen, jump the wall. She's not going to. King ability. Okay, let's just get going. Uh, lava Hound, Lava Hound, Lava Hound, Loons. Let's just spread them around the base. I think we're good to just literally spread them around the base. Warden, haste, 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 rage, rage. Oh, my Warden's on ground. Ability, uh, minions. <laughs> let's go, Queen ability. And well, Maybe it didn't work out as well as I had thought, but you can see there are so many troops left over. This lava loon is crushed, and there was zero strategy. Just 
Spam them all in. That is what we did. Wizard Tower is on the Queen. We could do with her not going down. Come on, balloons. Hurry it up. There we go. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at the health on that Queen. Is she actually going to help at all? No. She's going to go to another wall. Archer Queen at her best. Lava and more loons, done. Electro Surgery. This base has severe weakness against the Electro Dragons. You are not kidding because this is another one where you can just crush it. Now, I am actually going to just send everything in together. I think that's, that's the way to do this because normally you send it in in little groups and then, you know, that's just slowing you down. Oh, my Grand Warden's on ground again. I need to switch it depending on what strategy it is I'm using. Hmm, would have been nice to get that Archer Tower down, but we're looking okay. Grand Warden ability to protect a lot of those E-Drags. Should we rage the Town Hall area? We want to get a good chain through the back end of the base. I think let's rage this. Come on, it's all about those chains. Oh, we missed the top of the base. Hurry it up. <laughs> Look at how many we have left. There we have the Town Hall 11 maps done. And now we're just on to the bottom ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have four maps left to go. Oh, but these maps will be so much more difficult because the bases are harder. I mean, they're more upgraded. So I think it's going to be difficult to vary the strategy too much. Otherwise, we might fail. I guess the main difficulty is the higher town hall levels. The core is a lot stronger. So I couldn't spread my troops around the outside side because I needed a strong enough push into the middle to take it down. Oh, we got it. Grand Warden, shoot at the cannon. You can reach. You can do it. I know you can. What are you doing? Oh, now you shoot at the cannon. You could have taken it down already. Oh, more time added due to the Grand Warden. Flying Circus, that should tell us one thing. Can you guess it? Grand Warden needs to be on air. And we should start doing that because it could cost us. We need the air defense down. That is the critical part here for the dragons. So my thinking is we can split the queen and the king because it does get you to send them both together on the actual map. But I'm thinking we can get away without doing that. We need all of the dragons in there. Is there anything else to clean? We can use one maybe here. This sweeper is a little bit of an issue, but hopefully our dragons can push in towards that area a little bit easier. Oh, many of them are getting caught to the middle. So the sweeper is going to be an issue, but it's the other one. Come on, move back, move back. We need a strong finish on the town hall here. I don't want to use the rage and the warden ability too early. Come on, come on. Oh, warden ability. Oh, I think we lost one of the dragons, did we? We might have lost a dragon there. That could be important. Ooh, town hall does go down. Oh no, tornado trap. Are we going to get that Tesla? Come on, come on. Don't, yes, the dragon got it. Oh my word. <laughs> that was a little bit lucky. We would have still got through the map, but I do think it would have added quite a lot of time. Okay, we've got two maps to go. The Yeti Smash. Start with your Grand Warden walk on ground mode. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that little bit of advice. We definitely needed that. Uh, could we get a wizard on that cannon? This is a tricky one. We have four Pekka, five Yetis, not a lot of wiggle room. Maybe we can save some of the wizards for the outside, but the base is quite strong. We don't want to fail, so I think we have to push everything in. We can use code JUDO before purchases to make our base stronger. Create a code plug aside. This doesn't help us in the practice maps since you get what you are given, essentially. But we were 21 minutes ahead of the other video, which I will link you to shortly. Oh, it's so hard to tell where to use the troops sometimes, and the balloons have moved all of the way across, meaning they have to go all of the way back across. Again, that has been our main downfall. Hurry up! Oh my goodness! Will you just take down those buildings faster? Thank you! Last map! Let's go! Here we go. The last one. Bane of the Ring. Town Hall 13. Is Town Hall one word? I always thought it was two. But anyways, Town Hall 13 is the last map. When are we going to get some Town Hall 14 ones or some new Goblin maps? I personally love these game modes, but this is the map where I would completely ignore the tutorial. I was laughing watching the video back because it gets you to use the Queen ability. And I think by charging first here before we lure the CC, if we rage, we should be able 
to not use the ability in this. Oh, we didn't get through the wall. Are you kidding me? Well, that was a little bit fortunate, but okay. What is happening right now? What are you? There we go. Just in time because the healers are nearly gone. <sighs> queen. It's always the queen's fault. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. This Grand Warden ability. Did we catch the miners in the middle? We did. Okay, let's keep an eye on that. We've still got that Queen ability, which, like I said, is important. Why do we have a poison on this map? Oh no, King's going to go down. So we protected the Queen, but the King went down. That has worked out pretty beautifully. You know what? Let's swag that poison now. I'm not sure why that one was needed. Maybe to take down the Archer Queen or the Clan Castle troops. I should have probably done that. But there is our total time for all of the practice maps. A totally different experience than when we went through the tutorial of these with questionable strategies. I have that video linked on your screen with the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.